Seriously? Do you want me to do that? That feels a lot like kissing my sister. I mean, not that I would know or anything. Hello, friends. Chip Lutz here. How many times have you been in that kind of position where somebody asks you to do something that just doesn't feel right? I know for me, it's happened a lot. Sometimes that pressure comes from up above. So when I got in that kind of position, that kind of ethical dilemma, I go through a three-step process. First, I listen to my moral compass. I think each one of us has a moral compass. that Inherently, we know what's right and what's wrong. So just ask yourself, does it feel right? Is it in keeping with my values? I mean, unless you used to bury kittens as a kid, you have an internal compass. And if you did, ask somebody else. Second, I think, hmm, what will my mom say about this? I mean, moms have that ability to give us the disapproving eye so that we know if we shouldn't be doing something. So think, what would my mom say about this? Would she give me the eye? I mean, unless your mom is Lizzie Borden or Bloody Mary, you know. And if they are, well, you can ask my mom. She'll be happy to give you a disapproving eye. Third, I think to myself, hmm, when I want this plastered all over Facebook or some other social media stream. I mean, let's face it, peer pressure, even as an adult, can be oh, pretty crappy. So if you wouldn't want it in there, don't do it. We all face ethical dilemmas. And inherently, I think we know what's right and what's wrong. However, sometimes we need to recalibrate our brains so we make the right decision because that pressure can be pretty bad. So use this, use this method and make the right decision. Until next time, this is Chip Lutz, signing off.